He looked like a guy you wouldn't want to meet in a barroom brawl over pool money or in a fight on the football field over Super Bowl bounty. Kenny the Snake Stabler was the quarterback who led the Raiders to their first NFL championship. He wasn't only a good quarterback and a, and a good passer and a good leader, but he was a good field general. If he said that we're going to throw a pass where you run out into the stands, come back out and catch it on the five yard line. The guys would do it because they believed that it was going to work. Stabler threw the football just as he lived life with reckless abandon. Yet coaches and teammates never doubted his accuracy or his ability to read a defense. He basically pitched me the playbook. I probably called 80 or 90 percent of every game that I was in. He knew how to call play. I mean, you know, when they're thinking this, boom, he'd hit them with that. He did not own a projector. We tried to build it in a his contract that we'd get him a projector. He did not want to look at movies at night. That was not on his agenda. They were one to have fun playing football. You know, Hellraiser off the field, fun to be around. First thing you hear about Stable is he liked to party and he was wild. The Snake enjoyed scoring both on and off the field. At night, he liked to forget about football by focusing on extracurricular activities. John, strong suit as a coach, was the way that he handled us and let us do and be what we wanted to be. If you're going to get a good horse to run, you got to give him his head, give him the reins, let him run. And if he comes back to the barn, he's a good horse. If he doesn't come back, you don't need him. Despite his carefree attitude, Stabler's commitment to the game was never disputed. To be in the huddle with him uh, is so different than anything else you've ever seen. OK, in the huddle today, we got the snake at quarterback. The kid from Alabama. He's full right, he's full right. Many man in, two swing on one. Guys knew that he was going to stand in. He was going to do whatever he could to win the game on Sunday. We've seen Stabler time and time again stand in the pocket and just take a big hit but he always took that big hit right after he got the ball away and completed the ball. You just keep getting up. The last one up in a good fight wins. That kind of attitude. He could be so calm in a game. And I was just the opposite. I mean, hell, I was excited, you know, yelling, screaming. And he could be really focused and kind of relaxed. Yeah. You never see panic in his face. You never see panic in his actions. You never see panic in his play. He was just cool under pressure. The tougher the situation, the more calm he got. Number 12's calming resolve came in handy in a 1977 playoff game at Baltimore. Stabler threw a costly interception early, but the snake rallied the Raiders back to a 31-31 tie, sending the game into overtime. A stressful situation for most any other quarterback, Stabler found time to be lost in the moment. He says, you know what, John? And he had his helmet up like this, and he had a drink, and he says, and I said, what, what, thinking that he had a play? And I told John that I, these people are really getting their money's worth today, and he kind of looked at me like I was crazy. Where are you? Don't worry about the fans. <laughs> Let's worry about the play. Well, anyway, then the next play, he goes in and throws a touchdown pass to Dave Casper. Stabler finished with more career interceptions than touchdowns. And while his stats may not be Hall of Fame worthy, his fearless bravado will always be part of NFL folklore. There he is, fading, looking, looking, looking. He's under the gun. He throws. It is. 